Welcome back guys, in this lecture we'll make some changes to the menu bar and we'll also create the product category sidebar. So let's get started. To do so come back to your dashboard and hover appearances and click on menus. Okay, make sure your main menu is selected from here. If it's not, then select main menu from here and click on select. Now if you see in the uh, demo website everything is in uppercase that is in capital letters but here it is not. So let's change that first. So from here select this home and in the navigation label type in home in uppercase. Okay and delete this page because now we don't need this and the about us page same all in uppercase. Contact us page, same thing. Okay, now let's see what different pages do we have. We have clothing, shoes and accessories over here. So now for that, what we have to do? Just minimize this and how our products, you will see categories. Open this categories in a new tab. Here we have all the different categories that we have created. The first one is accessories. When you hover this, you get this option which says view. Click on this link and select copy link address. Make sure you right click on this link and select copy link address. Come back to your menus and from here you will see custom links and under URL paste that link and in the uh, link text type in accessories or whatever your uh, category name is and drag this thing over here okay now the second category is clothing so again click on this view right click on this view and uh, click on copy link address again come back custom links paste the link over here it is shoes so type in shoes click to add to menus and again drag this thing above the third one is shoes okay so we put this thing uh, wrongly don't worry we can change that click on copy link address come over here paste in the url type in shoes paste it okay drag this thing over here and from here we have to change the name because we by mistakely uh, made it shoes it was clothing okay okay now the thing next link is all products so again what you will do will just copy your uh, link uh, your website link address paste it over here and after this uh, slash just type in shop okay obviously in small letters shop and in the link address type all products Click on add to menus, drag this thing over here. Now when anyone clicks on uh, all products, he will be directed to the shop page. Okay. Now we also have a wish list page. So again, come back over here. Again, paste in your website URL. What is uh, that is www.yourwebsitename.com slash and type in wish list after slash. W I S H L I S T obviously then a forward slash again and in the link text type wish list click on add to menus and if you see over here in the demo website uh, there is a link which says company if you click on that it doesn't take you anywhere it's just a normal thing it's just a text and uh, under that link we have about us and contact us so let's do that in the custom link uh, in the URL just put a hashtag and in the link text type in company click on add to menus okay drag this thing over here about and drag about us to the right it will come under companies then after you have done all these changes click on save menu let's 
come back to your website and click on refresh okay now we can see all the changes over here now it looks similar to this one in fact better than this one okay so this is how you do it now the next thing that we have to do is you know make this uh, sidebar as you can see when we click on accessories we have a glitch sidebar we want something awesome like this so let's do that the first one is search bar which is fine and also if you see the sidebar over here is quite small and here it is quite bigger you know uh, you can make it by seeing this search bar the search bar here is quite bigger whereas the search bar at our website as present is quite smaller so I have a, co a code for that that will increase the uh, size of the sidebar so first let's uh, let's add all the elements that we need in the sidebar for that again come back to your dashboard hover appearances and click on widgets now here you'll see something called sidebar except for search we have to delete all these things the recent post click on that delete maximize this delete archives you have to delete this categories delete meta delete okay now we have to add these things the first one is shopping cart so search for that shopping cart it will be woocommerce shopping cart i guess Here it is it is woocommerce cart so select this one make sure sidebar is selected click on add to widget okay the title should be shopping cart okay you can also hide this cart if uh, there is nothing uh, in this cart but I don't recommend that click on save the next one is filter by price again come back over here Here it is, WooCommerce price filters. Click on this, make sure sidebar is selected. Click on add widget. And you can change the title. At present it is filter by price. That is fine, I guess. Click on save. And the next one is product categories. Again, come back to the widgets. WooCommerce product categories. This is the one. Add this widget. Okay, you can order by name category order whatever you want click on save and the final okay not the final the second last is recently viewed products okay so you'll find this under WooCommerce recent views okay recent reviews that was not that one recently viewed we want this one click on add widget Number of products to show, we want only 5 products to show over here. Click on save. And the last one is top rated products. Okay, so WooCommerce top rated products. This one, click on add widget. Okay, again, let's minimize this. We want only 5, so that is fine. Click on save. Now let's come back, refresh the page and see the changes. Okay, as I said, uh, this thing is looking quite smaller. But if you see the demo website, the you know the sidebar is quite bigger. So let's do that. Come back to your website, hover here, and click on Theme Customizer. Okay, now from here, click on General Settings, Layout Setting, and here tick mark this thing. Use Custom Sidebar with at present it is 21 make this as 25 now, as you can see maybe you cannot see over here but the size is increased let's let's hide these controls now as you can see the side of the size of the sidebar has increased you can increase it more if you want but i think 25 is fine that looks fine so again after you're done click on save and publish and click on this x signal okay now again if you see the uh, over here the title is just simple and whereas over here the title is bold and I think the size of the font is also increased 
so for that we have a code uh, we have to enter that code so for that uh, come back to your dashboard click on db and go that go to that file which i have provided and here you will find that code here it is widget title bold just copy this code from here this one only two lines come over here scroll down scroll down over here after the code press enter two times uh, just for the sake of gapping paste the code click on save changes come back to this website refresh and let's see whether the changes have taken place or not as you can see the changes have taken place it is bold and now it is looking beautiful okay there's one more change because we don't have anything our in our cart that's why we are not seeing that let's add a product in the cart okay the product is added now as you can see the button for view cart and checkout button it's just too big whereas in the demo website it is quite smaller and this fits uh, in a single uh, in a single column in a single row and here we have two big buttons so we have to decrease the size for that and for that also i have given a code again come back to that file now here it is change widget add to cart button size now copy this thing select everything from here copy this again come back to your dashboard over here now paste this code over here and click on save changes okay now refresh this page and we should see now as you can see the size of the button has changed okay so we have successfully created uh, our sidebar also now let's see whether all the pages are showing correctly let's go to wishlist page click on wishlist okay it is fine wishlist is fine if you want you can remove uh, this sidebar from wishlist if you want you can do so let's see the cart page click on this cart icon again from here also you can remove this and I uh, personally prefer to remove this sidebar from the cart page so click on this edit page now here in the page layout it is selected right sidebar select that click on full width click on update now click on view page okay this looks nice now now you don't have any mess over here it's only your cart page but you want you like that you can have that sidebar also okay so whenever you want to in, uh, you know add a sidebar in any page or you want to remove a sidebar that is how you do it you go to your page uh, edit page from here and from the top you select which sidebar you want okay guys so with this we have successfully completed every step everything that we needed to do that we wanted to do uh, for this website everything is completed now we have a beautiful super awesome super amazing e-commerce website and i wish all of you guys uh, good luck all the best do well may god bless you guys and i really wish that you guys make a lot of money from this because of your hard work and because of your dedication so i wish you guys uh, a good luck and i hope this whole tutorial has helped you if you guys need something else for example if you want some more help you can obviously go to my email address you can mail me with at at real at gmail.com and maybe if if i if i receive more requests on one particular subject then maybe in the future i'll be adding more lectures uh you know uh, trying to resolve your doubts okay but still uh, go go ahead create a website if you have any doubt mail me i'll see you guys soon and i'll try to make more videos uh, on analytics uh, on security that will help you more in future uh, for any kind of website whether it be e-commerce website or any different kind of website i'll try to add some bonus videos for you guys just because just to thank you guys for selecting this course uh, i am planning to add a video on analytics a video on security and a short video on seo so i hope 
uh, this video has helped you this course has helped you make sure you give a five star rating to this course so that this course helps other people also in making their you know dream project true in making and creating an e-commerce website a beautiful e-commerce website Okay guys, so that's it, that's it for this lecture. Uh, see you guys in the next bonus lectures. And I really again wish you guys all the best. A good luck in your life. Uh, please remember me in your prayers. Thank you. Thanks a lot for watching.